It's a kitty gang show on Scarbox Nation TV. It's the kitty gang show on Scarbox Nation TV. And we're coming to you live from CB Getty. It's the Giddy Gang Show. Giddy Gang Show. 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 It's the Giddy Gang Show on Cigar Box Nation TV. Hey, Nation. What's going on today? It's Nick here from CB Giddy Craft Supply. Bringing you a solo Giddy Gang show today. Um, I have to wait for the comments to update, but Ben is uh, out in Ohio visiting family, and uh, Glenn is busy working, so I thought I'd bring you a best of show today. I've gone through and curated some uh, some videos from the past of performances, uh, some videos that I put together in the past for uh, various reasons, um, some customer submitted videos. Even an appearance of Watt Corner after a fashion, uh, a uh, best of, not best of, because they're all great, uh, but uh, some uh, different uh, uh, submissions that we've gotten. Uh, let's see what we got. Hey, Tom, Michael, William. Uh, oh, hello out there to YouTube as well. Uh, it's probably why I haven't been as active in the comments. Um, but yeah, so uh, first I want to get off to mentioning something new of course you guys all have heard ben's new fretting book i know some of you out there have gotten it already he's put a lot of work into this book and he's really been you know knocking it out of the park with all these new resource books for the the uh, homemade instrument builder uh and this is the culmination of all the knowledge that he's gotten over the years um it's a really good book um you know, and there's even some spots in here uh, for notes and such. Um, that's great. That's live on the site. But the newest edition. He's done all the Irish. Now he brings the Scottish. Uh, there's, uh, let's see, 38 different Scottish songs. Everything from Auld Lang Syne. I don't know a whole lot of these myself. Nancy Whiskey's in there. Old Dun Cow. Of course, you all know, you all know that one. Uh, Loch Lamond. There's uh, there's quite a few in here. Like the other songbooks, uh, they're uh, they're all laid out. Some of them have different uh, versions of them on there. Uh, and uh, limited edition spiral bound for a little while until we get printed versions of them in. Don't forget the the hat. I was wearing it earlier while I was preparing for the show. Uh, it got a little warm. <laughs> um, but yeah, so why don't we go into the, the first video I've got prepared for you. Uh, Ben's, Ben's traveling, so I thought it fitting to, to show a video of him on a, uh, on a train. <laughs> so uh, here is Ben with uh, Wabash Cannonball. And here we go. Enjoy. Listen to the jingle, the rumble, and the roll. She rides along the hillsides by the lake and by the shore. I the rush of the engine, hear the lonesome hobo call. She's a combination called the Wabash Cannonball. She came down to Birmingham one cold December day. She carried him to the station. Thank you. 
671. How about that? You know, I think that was from last year or the year before. Uh, he had taken a trip down to see a train yard. Um, and he did a couple of videos on there, and that was one of them. Um, see, uh, <laughs> William Sneed, I would hardly call myself the brains uh, behind the brawn, but, uh, you know, it's an it's an equal part. Giddy does most of the talking most of the time. I'm just behind the the uh, the computer hoping I mash all the buttons correctly. <laughs> um, I was afraid I was going to have some snafus today. Uh, Philip Taylor out there says he's read the Hobo Fiddle book, another book by uh, Ben. He put a lot of work into that one as well, a lot of research that went into it. Um, uh, that yeah, and the Hobo Fiddle, you know, it's it's uh, he he's picking that up, you know, a couple times a week. He's been playing more four string lately, but um, so I get another video here. Uh, a submission from one of the viewers, uh, from Paul. Uh, Paul says uh, this was his second build, 25-inch uh, scale, uh, no separate fretboard. Uh, it was made from an old Maranti wooden door. Uh, he made three guitars from this wood, uh, and he used one of our gold snake oil humbuckers. Uh, so why don't we take a look at that video, and uh, I will come back and maybe even play a song. Check it out. Oh, <laughs> Paul uh, playing his 25-inch scale uh, CBG there. Uh, great sound to it. Uh, good job, Paul. Thank you for the submission. Matthew, I'm sorry to hear that, buddy. Uh, I hope everything works out all right. Uh, and, yeah, if you guys uh, would like to uh, to help him out, uh, shoot him a message and uh, see if there's, if there's anything you can do. If not, pass it around to the nation. Um, Matthew, you're in, our, you're in our hearts, buddy. Um, Let's see. Well, why don't I uh, pick up the old Eagle guitar? I was practicing something this morning while messing around with stuff here. It's a song you've heard on here before, but I like it so much. Uh, why don't we dip into a little bit of Croce? And I think you guys can hear that all right. The south side of Chicago is the baddest part of town. And if you go down there, you better just beware of a man named Leroy Brown. Now, Leroy, more than trouble, you see, he stand about six foot four. And all the downtown ladies call him treetop lover, all the men just call him sir. He's bad, bad, Leroy Brown, the baddest man in the whole damn town. Badder than old King Kong, meaner than a junkyard dog. Now Leroy, he a gambler, like his fancy clothes. He like to wear his diamond rings under everybody's nose. He got a custom Continental, an Eldorado too. He got a 32 gun in his pocket for fun. He got a razor in his shoe. And he's bad, bad, Leroy Brown. Baddest man in the whole damn town. Battle than old King Kong. 
I'm meaner than a junkyard dog. Now Friday, about a week ago, Leroy shooting dice. And at the edge of the bar sat a girl named Adora said, Ooh, that girl look nice. Well, he cast his eyes upon her. The trouble soon began. Leroy Brown, he learned a lesson about messing with the wife of a jealous man. And he's bad, bad, Leroy Brown, the baddest man in the whole damn town. Better than no King Kong, meaner than a junkyard dog. Where well, the two men took to fighting, and when they pulled them from the floor. Leroy learned a lesson. <laughs> Leroy looked like a jigsaw puzzle with a couple of pieces gone. <laughs> and he's bad, bad. Leroy Brown, baddest man in the whole damn town. Better than old King Kong. <laughs> Meaner than a junkyard dog. Bad, bad. Leroy Brown. Baddest man in the whole damn town Battle than old King Kong Meaner than a junkyard dog Well, <laughs> see, there's one thing that Shane and Ben told me, you know, the first song that I ever played on, uh, I gotta take this off, it's warm. Uh, the, uh, the first song that I ever played on, uh, on stage, I think it was, uh, uh, Bob Seger's turned the page, and they told me, if you mess up, keep going. <laughs> so I'm glad I didn't uh, fall apart during the middle of that. Uh, so we've got another video here. It's another customer submission from Kevin R. Uh, he made us out of one of our amp kits. Uh, he made it um, using uh, a speaker that he had lying around, um, and it's got some grit when he's playing with his four-string CBG. So let's see what he's made. was a submission from kevin r um thank you for the submission amps looks and it sounds great uh say that there hey rob robo glad you're feeling good uh marty two weeks from retirement congratulations buddy that's a hard working man right there hal i see you out there uh dave good to see you dave gatton out there uh over there on youtube hey thanks Stuart. your support means a lot Bob, building his first CBG. And, hey, thanks for the business, Bob. Hope you're having fun with it almost as much as you'll have fun playing it. Uh, and Rick Stevens out there on YouTube. Thanks. I see you every uh, every week out there, so thanks for joining us. Uh, got another video here. Uh, we've got a uh, – this was from a, uh, a couple of years ago. It was me, Ben, Glenn, and Farley. Uh, we had just sat down for a jam session. This was in the old Juke Shack when we were on the other side of the mill. Uh, back in the early days, before the Giddy Gang show, uh, it was uh, uh, a lot of fun. We were doing these Friday broadcasts as a uh, as an experiment. I can't believe it's been three years. I mean, the Giddy Gang show itself has certainly evolved, but check this out. I I really dig this. Let me make sure the right video is queued up because that has happened before. Yeah. <laughs> so here, check this out.
that. Yeah, see you all out there. Uh, that was that was that was a fun jam, and I still like going back and listening to it every now and then. Um, and it's fun to to be able to play it back again. We've got some uh, Yvonne Gray. Hey, welcome to the show. Always good to see you. Uh, let's see, uh, Paul Robertson out there on YouTube. Thanks for joining us. Uh, Keith, yeah, we, we should do a little bit more jams. Uh, we don't get as much time. It's been busy around here. You know, we've all got uh, stuff to do, but, you know, I'm sure we'll do some more stuff in the future, hopefully. Uh, so the next video I've got from you is from our buddy Jim Morris. I always love seeing Jim's instruments come through. Uh, he's got some, uh, he's got a flair for it, as you all have seen. This is another one of his fiddle videos, um, and the only title I had on it was Julia Delaney. Uh, it's, it's a, it's a beautiful piece, and, uh, I know you guys are gonna like it. No, I've shown it before, but this is, like I said, Giddy Vaults. It's been a while, so, here, enjoy. <laughs> Well, apparently I'm going to show that one again. <laughs> Technical difficulties wouldn't be a show without them. Um, here, we'll uh, pop into the right video here. And let's try it again. Thanks, Jim. Uh, that was a couple of years ago, but beautiful piece. Uh, see you out there, Jimbo. Uh, Glenn's not here, so hey, roll tide. Uh, let's see. What else we got out there? Uh, yeah, the joy of life TV. <laughs> I think it's because I stopped the other video uh, too early. Um, taking the show on the road. I, I That would be fun, but I don't I don't think it'd, it'd happen. Um, that's a it's a large chunk of the force to be away from the uh, from the shop for a while. So um, let's see what we got next. It's not a true walk corner. Let's see if I can play the little little jam. You'd get it eventually. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so this is a, a video compilation that I did of Watt Corner submissions that we've had on the past. Uh, a little bit longer. It's about two minutes long. Uh, and it uh, showcases some builds from you awesome folks out there. So let's check this one out. Thank you. 
about that. A lot of cool submissions out there. Some from those of you in the comments here. Uh, let's see, what do we got next? Oh, all right, this one. Uh, this was from a couple of years ago. Uh, we did a concert. Now, we had uh, Ron Benway, uh, who was a member of uh, the Snake Oil Band, I believe. Uh, Shane's not up there in the comments to confirm, but uh, he was up in town uh, for this concert. Uh, AJ Gaither was in town for a little while, um, helping out in the shop, uh, doing some, uh, the time we were making an AJ guitar. Um uh, yeah, so he was out here, and then Shane and Ben were here. Um, it's a little concert we called The 13 Dead Men. Happened around Halloween in 2016, I believe. Uh, we had we had set up the stage. I remember running the lights, and, and it was a fun time. And, you know, a lot of you were out there in the audience. This was uh, Jersey Devil. It's a bit of a longer longer session from uh, from Shane and them. You know, they, they, they play off each other very well. Uh, so why don't we check that out? This next song is about the Jersey Devil people. <laughs> and if you don't know the Jer uh, the story about the Jersey Devil goes like this. If you don't know the story about the Jersey Devil, it goes like this. Back in the 1700s, a woman named Mother Leeds had 12 children. She had 12 children and never had a single problem giving birth to any of them. Then she got pregnant with the 13th child, people. She got pregnant with the 13th child, and it was such a horrible pregnancy that during childbirth, she cursed the baby. She cursed the baby with such an unmentionable curse that instead of giving birth to another baby boy, she gave birth to a grotesque devil beast with fangs and fur and cloven hooves and bat wings. And it flew out of Mother Leaves and it killed all of its 12 brothers. Then it did a U-turn. And it killed the midwife too. And that Jersey Devil looked at his mother and he screamed a mournful cry and he looked around and he looked around the room and he saw an open window and he flew out of the open window and he went to live in the New Jersey Pine Barrens where to this day murders have been attributed one by one to the Jersey Devil. Now this song is called Mother Leads and it's about the Jersey Devil and his mother. And the reason I wrote it is simple. Because I figure if any creature is hell-bent on destroying New Jersey, he deserves a song in his honor. Who while the poor boys fled, then flew the band tip 
don't own any top hats i have two hats that i wear on a regular basis well one hat that i wear on a regular basis and another that i wear with my kilt uh it's an old guinness hat flat cap you guys have seen me wear it um but i don't own any top hats this one was sent to the giddy gang i believe and he's out there tom petrie correct me if i'm wrong but i believe he sent this in i love this hat 
It fits me just fine. <laughs> uh, I saw Kim Morris out there. Good to see you. Primitive Guitars. Nice to see you. Uh, Walter. Yeah, his, his hat is pretty, uh, pretty slick on that. Uh, let's see. Yeah, that was, a, that was a funny story. It was before I had uh, really known about Cigar Boss Guitar. Shane had been playing a gig at the, the cigar bar that I worked at. Because uh, Ben used to frequent to pick out uh, cigar boxes. Cause I think it was closer to the beginning of when he was starting. So, you know, he came by to pick out uh, uh, boxes sized right for guitars. We'd see him every couple of months. And uh, he had come down with, with Shane. I remember, I have a picture somewhere of all the Shane's guitars. Uh, but it's a long shift. <laughs> at the time, I had been there from since like 10 in the morning. The gig was at 8. So I'm like, I gotta get dinner, and then all that. But I ended up having a cigar with him and Ben uh, the night before, I think, or the night after, one of the two. Um, Shane will tell you it was a tobacco special. Um, oh, Tom, for some reason I had that stuck in my head, and then I'm I don't remember. I really should remember that kind of thing. Uh, all right, what do we got next here? Oh, okay, this was a. Uh, Another compilation that I did a while back for uh, the show, it's a, uh, the, sh- the show had turned a year old at that point, so I believe this was early 2018, um, yeah, yeah, so check this out, it's not, it's uh, another long one, uh, but I'll be in the comments with you guys, so here, check it out. episode of the Giddy Guy yeah, Show. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Stop. I've also got some news that this is the last Giddy Guy Show. Sad. Because next week it is going to be reborn as the Giddy Gang Show. Yeah. Giddy Gang yeah. Show. Uh, there was a segment of this video, Nick, that uh, Involved duct tape, and it went on for a while, right? Yeah, I got to watch uh, Glenn mess around with duct tape for about an hour. Just roll it up and put it in the slide. What's the problem? <laughs> You're all gonna laugh at me. <laughs> no. Welcome to Watch Corner. What world? Mm. What world? What's going on? How are you? Good to see you. I'm not seeing anybody's name, so I'm just looking at you. Mm-hmm. Slightly awkward in silence. <laughs> New printing method we were able to do. Uh, I just feel like when you watch. So, uh, I just want to say, uh, um, Carly? 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 Uh, Carly, you've been to the uh, Pennsylvania Cigar Box Guitar Festival, haven't you? Yeah, buddy! Thanks, Carly. <laughs> 
<laughs> we lost him. Make a couple more run-throughs and we'll have that one down. Oh See what happens when I stop drinking. <laughs> my wife came back, my dog came back, grandpa didn't die. And Mother-in-law moved out. <laughs> Woohoo! <laughs> Uh, somebody there, JD Swan said, you got a purdy guitar. Mm -hmm. Share what? Share publicly, Facebook entered drawing, win you. <laughs> you. Share public you. Win. win. <laughs> Share win. Share win you, public. You. <laughs> Not knowing exactly. <laughs> yes. Oh. oh. So hard, so hard. Everything is that. Do I sell nylon strings? Clap, clap, etc. This is a 17-inch scale, Michael. Uh, like a tenor ukulele. Oh, sh something's behind me there. Whoa! <laughs> Panda. I know Panda's here. <laughs> so something's happening. <laughs> Pay no attention to the panda in the doorway. That's pretty creepy to see that over your own shoulder. Like, what the hell? One of the new things that I'm excited about, in coordination with Shane Spiel, we designed this here slide rack that magically appeared over Glenn's torso, <laughs> chestal area. Uh, it holds slides. It's a kit. You put... Oh, come on. You put it together yourself. It gets bigger. It shrinks. <laughs> it's magic. It is a magic slide rack. The slide rack here, guy. Oh, look at it. You put it together yourself. It's awesome. I know the guy that designed it. He's a great guy. He's a great oh, slide. Oh, great guy. Oh, he slides yeah, everywhere. He slides He's great. sliding right now. <laughs> Couldn't be here because he's out sliding. I got you. People like you. Everybody calm down. Nobody freak out. Folks, until next week, keep on picking, build what you play, and play what you love. All right. All right. That's a wrap. Nice job, everybody. Thanks. Ooh. I just walked a step around here. How about that? <laughs> uh, so I've got a, uh, let's see, two more videos and then the end of the show. Uh, let's see, what do we got next? Uh, oh, one of the shout out videos. I just picked, I jabbed and pointed when I was looking at the, uh, uh, the list of videos that we have. Uh, <laughs> uh, Let's see. So why don't we go into that? A Glenn facial hair retrospective over the years. That would take a while. I feel. Yeah. Let me, uh, let me think on that one while I play you this. Hi, Giddy Gang. This is Ron Lutz from Eureka Springs, Arkansas. This is just one of the guitars I've just finished building. A little four-string baritone water ski. And I found a couple others for the next project. I'm going to make some out of this. Um, and then I might be going overboard, but since I'm not windsurfing anymore, I'm going to make a bass out of this. A little uh, ultra bass lap steel. What do you think? Anyway, thanks for all you do. Bye. 
Hi, this is Sharon Allen from Oklahoma, and I'm taking time out of practicing on my cigar box mountain dulcimer to say hi to the Giddy Gang Show and tell you how much we enjoy your weekly podcast. Take care and keep playing. Hi. Greetings from the northeast of England. I'm Alex Russell from Wrighton and Gateshead. Love the show, so keep it up. Shout out to everyone at the Giddy Gang Show. Glenn, Ben, Farley, Nick, all you guys rock. Keep doing what you do. We love you. Clay Clark giving you a shout out from Arlington, Texas. It's 109 degrees here today, but it's still not as hot as the Giddy Gang show every Friday. Love watching the show. This is my favorite CBG. It's a six string made out of a tattoo box. I love the sound and I love all the hints that I get watching the show every week. Hey, Giddy Gang show. Just a shout out from Granby, Missouri. My name is Danny Gordon. Just to say how much I've enjoyed your show. I've learned a lot. This is my first year's cigar box guitars. Thanks for everything that you do. This is Jonathan Legassi checking in from Ithaca, New York, wishing the gang a very happy one year anniversary. And remember, build what you play, play what you love. Okay, this is Lenny Henderson wishing the CB Giddy gang, and that's all of us, so I guess, a uh, happy time and long-lived uh, happiness. Bye-bye. We're in front of Musician's Alley in beautiful downtown Sandusky, Ohio, where Giddy himself got his start playing guitar. Ben, this shout out's for you. Keep up the good work. Keep up the good work, buddy. Bye-bye. Bye. How about that? Some great instruments on there. I don't know if you ever finished that surfboard. It might have come through yet. Uh, I haven't seen the, the video. Uh, we've got one last video today. I know. Uh, one last one from uh, Hal. Uh, he actually sent me a new one today for another show. Uh, but this one was a double-necked CBG that he had made, a three and a four string. Uh, it looked pretty cool, and I loved the video, so here it goes. Today's video is all about my new double-necked cigar box guitar. This was made from a jewelry box, a men's jewelry box, an old broken Ohana tenor ukulele that I rescued the neck from, and I made a cigar box neck with some help with parts from CB Giddy. I got the hardtail bridge from CB Giddy, I got the uh, double neck, uh, the three string humbucking pickup from CB Giddy. Uh, I found the machine heads at a Value Village store. I don't know if you have that down in the States, but in Canada we have Value Village. Uh, and I went into one and that's where I found these. Uh, inside the guts of the machine, Ba -ba! shout out to Del Puckett, I've got this nice little spring reverb. Uh, it is a Fishman Matrix preamp for the top sound and you can see that there is a piezo disc right here, hot glued down to the top and that's picking up everything. The uh, controls for it are right here by the sound hole and the humbucking controls go all the way up to a volume and tone knob at the top. Uh, this is also a, uh, uh, well, this comes with the humbucking pickup from CB Giddy. 
I'm using my uh, Lab Box Artist. I also have a nice little cigar box amp radio amp that I made here, and that's going to be just the cigar box neck. So turn that up. And I got my loop pedal here, so I'm going to do some looping. Uh, this is a song called When Lead Belly Walked the River, and it was composed and uh, recorded for my latest album. Blues is in the water. You can get that album by following the link right up here. But in the meantime, just enjoy this video. <laughs> Whew, it's warm in that. <laughs> well, thank you guys very much for joining me today for another episode of the Giddy Gang Show. A look back, a look back at the last couple of years. Uh, hopefully we'll make some new memories. Um, let's see if I can play this. I don't think I've played this. <laughs> Thank you all. I hope you uh, have a great weekend. Matthew, if you guys uh, didn't see, uh, our thoughts are out to you, buddy. Uh, well, hope you all have a great weekend. and. Been the Giddy Gang Show on Cigar Box Nation TV. It's 
been the Giddy Gang Show on Cigar Box Nation TV. And I came to your life from TP Giddy. Thank you guys. Have a great weekend.